Hey guys, okay. This is my Bedini motor. I just finished putting it together. Still needs, you know, some cleaning up. I'm gonna put all the uh, alligator clip wires and I'm gonna make a circuit board to go right here for it. But for now, I just wanted to, you know, get it working so it does work now. This bearing is out of a VCR. All of this came from from scrap or garage sale even this uh, cutting board I found at a garage sale for free bearing was from an old VCR um, so I have so I drilled a hole through and mounted it and you can see there is my there's a diode on the resistor or a diode and a resistor for my transistor which is right there which is actually kind of the key to this whole thing. There's a 1K potentiometer, which helps me tune the circuit. Um, this is 350 turns of bifiler wound, which means you can see there's two different wires. So I wound them both at the same time. Uh, this one came from a an old microwave transformer uh, this one came from that same microwave but it was a smaller transformer in there I ran out of this one which is why there's only 350 turns still works pretty good though um, so this uh, core is, is actually this I took apart a, a uh, UPS battery uh, transformer that's what this came from and it actually the transformer itself is right here so they had a bunch of e-cores which are these that fit in here like that and then on the other side are these plates that filled it in. So I just took these plates and threw it those way and made the core for this coil. And uh, pretty happy with it. It, it. As long as it's tight down here, it doesn't rattle too much. And I got the you know zip tied down and I was gonna bolt it down just a mite, but okay. So it's my workbench. It's a mess. I'm also in a project of recycling magnet wire, and getting you know whatever I can, pulling it out and recycling it. But okay, so this is how this works. This battery powers it. It's a 12 volt battery. Both of these came out of a UPS. So this battery powers it. It runs. Um, as the magnets pass the core, it in, uh, induces an electrical voltage that comes back and charges this battery. So, let's, uh, I'll show you what we got right now. I can't really see that. It's not any better. Okay. So, on the charge battery, we're at three. I'm just going to go. 1316 so on a power battery we're at 13 volts okay so I'm gonna leave it there and we'll start it up all I'll do is take this wire open it there you can see my little neon this just is a protection circuit that prevents me from frying my transistor and then just give it a little spin. You hear it speeding up. The the cutting board actually vibrates more than anything else does. It, that's what you're hearing. It's speeding up pretty good. Is what that's running. 
see we came down three tenths of a volt, three hundredths of a volt for a power battery, and that will drop as it as it uses the power. And then come on to here. got our charge battery which is up two hundredths of a volt so and even this thing's still speeding up it's getting up there now and as you can see this is going to continue to climb I mean the, the battery is fully charged so it's not going to climb that much but because it's starting to see it's a pretty efficient motor because it it produces power to go back over here so it's, it's not producing it at the same rate but now watch this so this is a completely dead battery so if we put our test on this That's pretty dead. Not even one tenth or two tenths of a volt. So now watch this. I take this, take the power from here, put it here, take the negative from here, put it here. You hear that RPMs drop just a little bit. So, I mean, you saw it before, this is obviously just a surface charge. I don't really know what this means, but just by hooking this up, I'm getting that much voltage into it. So, I mean, it did create more of a load on the motor. It, it, it seems to be it looks like it's going down no. I might have to leave that on there just to see what happens my goal my plan is to build another one of these and either put it right here or put it right here I'll probably put it right here and then finish the electronics up top uh, and then do another Bedini circuit over here and you know wind it a little better that's why I have all of this um, from the from the transformer to run another one over here yeah it's going down still I'm not sure why yep there she is. Next time, let's check the voltage on the on the drive battery. Let's see where it's at. Drive battery. It's coming down, but not very fast. It is coming down, though. I think I can probably get more efficiency with another, you know, and also. mounting this is a little bit more secure it's actually speeding up now that's interesting well that's it that's what I'm working on thanks for watching